You're on one of them. I had a technical difficulty <laughs> on the other. <laughs> okay, you're good. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's Humane Ed Live. Today we're hanging out in our cat loft um, with all the cats, but our extra special guest is this Mr. Sweet, or Mrs., I don't even know. Um, not sure about the gender. Uh, this is Taffy. I've been calling him a he. I don't think he really cares. Um, but yeah, you're so sweet. He's just a sweetie pie. Uh, and today, just like last week, we talked about enrichment for dogs. Today we're going to talk about enrichment for our cats. Uh, before we get into that, I'll tell you a little bit about Taffy's backstory. Uh, so Taffy actually shares a story with this other cat right over here named Mittens. Um, and they both came from a situation where people were hoarding animals. Um, so they both got out of there, fortunately. Sadly, in the process of uh, living at that person's house, they were declawed in their front paws. Um, so when you declaw cats, it can sometimes cause a lot of behavioral issues because they don't really have their first line of defense anymore. So instead of going for a scratch or warning you with a swat or something, Sometimes they'll just go straight to biting, um, or they're just more insecure and they get, um, they'll, they'll tend to like pee on things or like poop outside of their litter box. Um, just a bunch of stuff to show you that they're not very happy. Um, <laughs> fortunately, he's a sweetie. Now, Taffy is not up for adoption just yet, but hopefully he will be soon. He's been hanging out here for the past couple weeks, getting adjusted getting used to being like a free cat hanging around. He really just loves to rub up on people. Right? You're so sweet, huh? And he's got these pretty green eyes. Hopefully he'll come up close and show you. Oh yeah, you just love rubbing up on, on things. But his fur is so soft, he seriously feels like a chinchilla. He's just the softest cat ever. Right? Yeah, you want to talk about enrichment? He's talkative too. Yeah, he's very talkative. He's got a lot to say. Um, so, uh, just to jog your memory, um, last week we talked about enrichment too, and what enrichment means is pretty much just giving your cat something to do, especially when you're not there to be with them. Uh, that's why we're hanging out in this room today, because this is our smaller cat space, um, yeah, where they have so many things to run around and play with, like all these cat trees, there's scratching posts everywhere, there's things for them to swat around. Um, and all this type of stuff is really awesome. It gives your cat something to do instead of just sitting around all day. They can scratch, they can jump, they can go into the little hidey holes. They can play with the um, things that are dangling on there and have some fun. And cat trees and scratchers are some of the most fun, and scratchers especially one of the most important ways to enrich your cat. It also helps keep their nails trimmed a little bit so they're less likely to uh, scratch you when they're just trying to give you a paw or something. <laughs> Taffy is sitting in Kelsey's Are lap Are you on now. my lap now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> snuggly guy. He's here. <laughs> right. um, so another thing, uh, a lot like dogs, uh, cats have a way better sense of smell than humans do. Their sense of smell is about 14 times stronger than humans. Um, so they can smell really well. And something, if your cat is like treat motivated, um, just like last week we talked about snuffle mats for dogs, you can also use them for cats. I'm not sure how much uh, Taffy over here likes treats, but we can try to see if they'll come over, come over here because it's kind of funny to watch them. Hey Taffy, look. Hey. He's like, He's like hey, hey, why? I'd rather sit in your lap. Hey bud, look. You want to see? Here's this for you. Is very yummy. Oh, oh that smells good, considering huh? Considering it. Did he take one? Oh yeah, he ate it. He's in two? I don't think so. <laughs> Look, they're going in here. You want to find him? I don't want to just push you off. You seem quite comfy. You know? <laughs> not going to make you, you know? Maybe he's not a cat that wants to be enriched. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He is what? He's like 13 years old, I think. He's an old um, man. So old cats, they still need enrichment. They still need things to do, but they're probably not quite as active as your little kitten or your like one to five year old cat. Right, Mittens? Mittens is hanging out too, like, what are you guys doing? Mittens like, I'm on a tree. <laughs> and Mittens is the cat who also came from the same situation, who also doesn't have her front claws. I, she's only six years old, so he's quite a bit older, but um, she's going to hang out in her hidey hole. So, again, not all cats are super treat motivated, um, but some of them really love treats, and this is a fun way to get them to have to work a little to get a snack. 
Of course, there's also everyone's favorite feather toys. Um, I found that cats especially lo uh, love ones that make like little noises like this. Oh, you look. Come and get it. And playing with your cat, whether it's with a feather toy or any other type of toy, is Go one of the best ways to enrich. Oh. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> one of the best ways to enrich them too. Spending that one-on-one -on -one time is super important for your relationship with your cat, and it just helps them know that you care about them and you want to have fun with them, and it really helps to build a positive relationship. You get to know them really well. Oh yeah, this one's fun, huh? And there are all types of toys you can buy or make too. You can make something like this at home. Um, usually kittens find stuff like this one more fun, but he might chase it. We'll see. This is just like a mouse that has wheels on it. So if you roll it across, maybe not for a 13. Oh, he's going to check it out. <laughs> what was that, bud? <laughs> and cats are way better at detecting movement than we are. They have like four to six times the number of uh, rod cells in their eyes compared to humans. Um, so th uh, they can see movement really well and that is also what helps them see in the dark. Um, so rolling something like a uh, little toy mouse across them is a really fun way for them to pretend like they're hunting because cats are natural hunters. They want to hunt things like mice and rats and birds. So if you can give them things like that, that mimic that uh, type of behavior, it's really fun for them. And it's also really good for their mental and physical health too. Other things you can do are um, you can plant uh, cat grass, which is really fun for them to just chew. And there's also catnip. I don't know how much our pal Taffy over here likes catnip. I can put some on the ground for him. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do catnip. Um, a lot of cats, you kind of just put it on the floor and they roll in it. Um, and it just, some of them it makes them tired, some of them it makes them act crazy, but they usually just like to roll their face in it. Some of them like to snack on it. You're checking it out, huh? And you can also get toys um, filled with uh, catnip. I don't think we have any up here, but they're usually just about like this size and they just stick some catnip in there and they can roll around and play in it. You like that stuff, buddy? He's eating it. Oh, that's fun, huh? Oh, there we go. There's the catnip roll. <laughs> now, what is catnip specifically? Um, It's just a plant that... Um, it just helps them to like get energized and have some fun and then it usually helps them to take a nice long nap. Um, and there's a bunch of different kinds you can buy. It's, you can get it at like any store. This is from Kong. We love Kong. Um, other things you can do, um, these windows are really fun for the cats. Um, if any of you guys have been to the PRRC, um, you know that this is like a lofted area so it's um, a whole level above everything else and it's super fun for the cats to sit up here and look down at everyone a lot of you at home who have cats probably know that your cat uh, probably likes to sit by the window and watch everything outside um, so getting something like a window perch or just you know sticking a cat tree up in the window or something like that uh, so that they can see out better is really fun for them too um, they want to experience the world around them especially if you can't let them outside um, but safely taking them outside is a great way to enrich them as well. Uh, and you could do that either through putting them on a leash, um, which sometimes some cats don't really like that. Um, but it really helps if you work with them when they're younger. Um, if they don't like leashes, cat strollers are also really popular. Um, and it's also the cutest thing ever to see someone walking with a, um, <laughs> Cat in a stroller, you're having fun in that catnip bar. Yeah, we'll get some good playtime, huh? Oh, yeah. Someone's excited. Um, but, oh, yeah. You're getting really excited now. He makes a lot of funny noises. <laughs> like that I one. I think Walt's getting a little jealous. He's like, how come I didn't get to roll in the catnip? Walt's like, hey, hi, Walt. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a lot of silly noises that kind of sound like growls, but he's just talking. He's just having fun. But um, one of our uh, pet therapy teams um, is a, a cat named Frisky, 
and Frisky rides in a stroller every time she comes to visit us, and it's the cutest thing in the world, and kids always love to see Frisky pulling up in her stroller. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, but then uh, you could also build, like, an enclosure outside for your cat, so you don't want to completely expose them to all the elements and all the animals who live out there because you don't want them to get hurt, you don't want them to catch any illnesses, and you, of course, don't want them to, to um, run away um, because they could get hurt or catch an illness. So and you can build things out of like chicken wire um, at your house. Um, if you've seen our other videos, you've probably seen uh, the in little enclosures that we have in our downstairs cat lodge. Um, and we open those up sometimes and the cats just walk outside and they like to see the birds and listen to everything out there. And it's really fun for them. It gives them something to do. Just like dogs, cats don't really watch TV like we do. They don't read books. They don't get that same kind of stimulation that we do every day. So it's really important to give them something to do um, because they don't wanna just sit around all day. Some of them do, especially when they're older. But most of them wanna play, they wanna have fun, and they especially wanna have fun with the people that they love or the uh, other animals that they love, um, which is a good segue. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says, don't mess with me. I hope they right? heard that. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> He's a funny guy. We love Taffy. Hopefully Taffy will be up for adoption really soon. Because he's a sweetie who deserves a home. Um, another thing that we often really su uh, we often suggest to people when they're adopting, especially kittens, is to adopt two cats. Because nobody understands cats and like how to play with cats. Um, as well as another cat does, especially if you're getting a kitten. Um, it just gives them a friend, someone to hang out with, someone to play with. Um, and cats are really active at night, and humans generally are not. So having a second cat, Lola's having a little cough back there. Um, she's okay. She just has asthma. Um, <laughs> cats are active at night. <laughs> yeah, cats are more active at night if you have... Two cats, they're more likely to um, keep each other entertained at night instead of meowing at you at 3 a.m. or knocking on your door, begging for attention when it's late. Oh, yeah. You're giving them some good sound effects, huh? <laughs> Sounds like a car. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> and he does make that noise. That's not even just a catnip. He makes that noise sometimes just for fun. And that's his happy, having a good time sound. Yeah, he's, he's not distressed. He's having a blast. He's just a little weird. Right, Taffy? <laughs> but I think Taffy's going to have a good play and then take a nice nap. Right, buddy? He's all staticky now from rolling on the floor. <laughs> uh, what about this one? It's about, huh? meow videos reading to your cat or your dog too is also a great way to spend some time with them um, just sitting there and talking to them and acknowledging them is really special it also really helps build a positive relationship just like playing with them um, they just want to know that you care about them it doesn't matter what you're reading to them but um, they love to be read to just to sit there and have some fun get a little pet on the back while you're on the head right buddy um, while you're reading to them, it's a really fun way to spend time with them. If you're in school and you have homework to do, uh, that's another great way to get your homework done and play with your cat at the same time, is just to read your work to them. They don't care what you're reading. They just like your attention. Right, bud? But there are so many different ways to enrich your cat. Um, if you're curious about, like, outdoor enclosures, I would... <laughs> I would suggest just like a Google search of DIY outdoor enclosure, or you could send me an email at lauren.link um, at hinsdesignmeansociety.org and I can send you some uh, like instructions for how to build a safe outdoor cat enclosure. Um, but spending time with your cats is super important, giving them something to do, especially if you're not home uh, to play with them all the time. They need things like cat trees and scratchers and toys that they can play with without you needing to be there. Um, because they deserve to have fun and they deserve to live an enriched, fulfilled life. Right, buddy? He agrees. 
<laughs> well, I'm just going to hang out with Chappie for a bit. Uh, we're going to play, and then hopefully he'll take a nap. But thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll be skipping next week because it's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Um, and then we'll be back the week after with a topic that I can't remember what it is right now. <laughs> but I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye. Happy, say bye. You want to talk one more time? Woo, he's waving. <laughs>